Hello everyone who may, be watching, who may be watching now, later on a YouTube hitting here, along with... What's the here? And let's see, this time my mic is recording, unlike yesterday for some reason. And uh, yeah, welcome to Something Sunday, where we'll try two to four games. And today we're starting off with Graveyard Keeper. Have you ever heard of this game, Enter here? I haven't, and I've seen a little bit, but not properly for I had it more like on in the background while uh, role playing and such. Uh, yeah, I don't know specifically of describing this game, but it is a somewhat similar to like Stardew Valley. But uh, yeah, instead of a farm, you're running a graveyard, and you're also trying to find some way to get home. Because, well, you'll see in a bit. Yeah, I only know extremely little about it. Like, I see the beginning, but that's it. It's an ordinary day, and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him. Even in everyday routine, there's a place for loving and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Uh, what happened? Where is everything? Calm down, you're merely turning a page in your life. You merely turned a page. Yeah, you've merely per turned a page. A little chapter awaits you ahead. I need to go home. Can I go home? There's always a way to get home. Let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. Ooh. I need to go home to my love. You need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. What? Ooh. A strange vision. What? Yeah, what is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Gary. Who okay. was to make a main character with a beard? I feel like too many games where the main character is a man is usually... Shaven? Uh, yeah, usually shaven. I saw find scruffed, but not many properly bearded. <laughs> with a right eye told me that I need to dig up Gary. Red eye, I remember. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's right, I'm Gary. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good. But first let me ask you, who are you and where the sword are we? Yeah, okay, I have to say this right away. When I watched this game first time, it did not look like this. I must be dreaming, none of this can be real. Yeah, it, it has been some time since this game came out, and as was visible on the main screen, some DLCs have come out as well. For the new Graveyard Keeper. Yeah, I think I've seen the early access version. What else do I remember? Let me think. Remember that sound? Let's go check it out. It's been a while since I played this as well. Everything is so strange, and this makes sense. I remember it being a bit more dark and... What the? Oh, right. That's not a hobbit hole. See? A little book. We, we actually have one of those in my old village. Okay. Or, well, a less fancy version of that. Got a fresh from, from the town. Oh, we're talking donkey. 
You, you can understand me. That's dark. Who are you? I'm to labor and this court isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And we only earn five carrots a day. Oh, come on! This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? <laughs> A communist donkey. The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. Uh, you get uh, rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. <laughs> this just shoves this corpse aside. <laughs> Hey, what are you staring at? Cap that juicy corpse while it's still fresh? Because it's sticking down. Ooh. We take it to, like we should take it to the morgue? I don't remember uh, why exactly. But I'm sure it'll be fun. It might even be profitable. Oh, I'm going to pew. Let's do it. Okay, you get it. Went from, it went from 100 to 99. So... Yeah. Sorry, I like this place. Feels like home. Put a body on the autopsy tape. Then... Oh yeah, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. And there's arguing going on outside. Yeah, I can hear it. I might have to pause the stream for a bit to help with this. Alright. And okay, one of them has run off. Okay, you promised to tell me how to get home. You just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. That's uh Mr. Clown, she got blueprint for the preparation place, blueprint for palate, and extract flesh. Uh, yeah, I would not eat. <laughs> I would not want to eat any of this. But yeah, this is the autopsy table where we can extract part. And it seems that the argument has just moved downstairs. Let me just close the door. Uh, basically, my brother being an ungrateful asshole. Anyway, yeah, here we can extract parts from the body, and here you can see the quality of the body. Red skulls are bad, white skulls are good. By extracting parts, uh, which we'll find later, we can even insert parts, okay, we can improve the body. And what that's for, you'll see later. For now, though, extract flesh. We need to work on that, which will cost us our energy. And unlock the new technology and got create burger, sandwich, baked meat. Why? <laughs> I'm, I'm making a burger right now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get used to it. So what shall you do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. What do you mean I will get used to it? You... And yeah, as you can see, that cost one of the white skulls. So now this thing is, well, of neutral quality. And now it's all foggy. Here, for there was more of a game where if spooky things might happen while you try to tend them to the dead and make sure they are, well, happy dead and all that. But. Well, yeah, partially I'm correct with that. Yeah, you will say how. Unexpected springs. Uh. Blueprint desk to mark a grave, then dig it with your shovel. Carefully put the body or whatever remains of it in the grave. Very decorate warning do not use goat skulls or in upside down stars for decoration, because those are seen as satanic. And he got this a shovel. Grave sides. And we can stick one in. Okay. work on it and yeah the body has continued to decompose an open grave of course isn't too sightly of a sight so, there we go plus one as well if i ever die i think i prefer my body either cremated or buried near or under a tree 
Yeah, I'd probably go for incineration as well. <laughs> at least if I'm buried near or with a tree or my corpse, at least my corpse will be useful. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He knows. He should know something. I better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. <laughs> Just bounce up real quick before he sees you. <laughs> Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come in here every week? Oh dear, the new keeper. Hmm, we've been inspecting him for 30 years, but he pretends there's nothing wrong. What's with the look? I'm sorry to have to tell you, you know, this, but your graveyard is a mess. And yeah, there's dead trees all over the place. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric until you fix it. See, current location name, important location information, the graveyard quality, the church appeal, etc. Prepare graves to increase the graveyard's overall appeal because, yeah, this looks like absolute shit. I probably need special resources to do that. Wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good and I'm a good judge of character. You can do everything, that's why I was chosen, to represent his will. Huh. Predecessor used to keep his thing you know, stuff in a trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I'll come here every Sunday? Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part, it's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. You'd think that a bishop should know. Yeah. I'm just here to represent his glory and yeah, his might and glory. I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. Um. Yeah, so that's... Uh, so you can always craft new ones. I'm questioning how he become, became bishop. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, perhaps through the same way that a lot of people got bi got made bishops back in the old days, based bribery. <laughs> so at least they. Here's the thing: there was a time when magic was not frowned upon, and priests did practice magic. I don't know when Christianity and such turned on the magic art, mm. but. The, yeah, I imagine that once they did that, they probably have less to memorize. Yeah, I think they just wanted the monopoly on miracles. Let's see. To craft yeah. new items, you'll need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press tab to open the technology tree. Red points, uh, handcraft skills, green knowledge about nature, blue spiritual knowledge of the immaterial world. You get your first blue uh, attack at the sturdy table in the church basement. Earn things simply by doing anything. Also, you can get points by studying new items at the special table. Stock, stockpile and gather rock, gathering stone, uh, woods. Okay. And yeah, this is the tree. We can go down specific paths, and each of these has their own little you know, book for it. Building, cookery. Uh, we'll probably want to avoid that, or at least make sure where we get our meat from. And here's yeah. autopsy. Uh, cert removing, like I said, removing certain things improves the uh, quality of the corpse, which will in turn uh, improve the quality of the graveyard, which we need to do to well uh, progress in things. Uh, I think that's kind of true. I think there was. Yeah, the Egyptians did remove the organs when they were to mummify. Yeah. And get them yours. But I don't know if that was to easily preserve the body or what. I don't know specifically as well. And that the jackass pulls out a mirror. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, God, we need to go trade in that 
a certificate for money because that is how we'll be making money yeah and remember i have a drawing of a bishop figure okay. the only thing is it, it, let's say this this is basically a bishop or something that worships something that's similar to Cthulhu. <laughs> Okay. So put some Lovecraftian theme on it, and you get the idea. And before people ask, I did a drawing before the bishop in Warcraft uh, was revealed to be a, a Lovecraftian occultist. Okay, can't say much uh, about that. But I, basically, all my main knowledge about Warcraft ends at Warcraft 3 and starts there as well. I played 2 and 3, and I play, played uh, online, of course, but I st stopped uh, during Mr. Pandaria. So I, said, yeah, I, I was gonna give it so much. I was, had enough with subscription, roleplay became way too late, and the Horde vs. Alliance drama just got way too much for me. I love the Pandarans, but good gosh, I, I felt hot and broken playing the game. No, I was so. Well, basically, the P Pandorans were forced to join both sides, they go to their main continent, and do it all over again, making the Pandorans feeling like, oh, we have to pick a side, and they forced other inhabitants of their continent to pick sides. Between two even races never even had a war between each other, so they start to have war because War Alliance wanted them to. Yeah, yeah I... I yeah, I, I just uh, it was just got way too much. Well, this is going through hard times for short on money. As soon as you open the church, program will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Okay, so oh, basically we need to open the church so we can get paid. <laughs> oh dear. And did I talk over you while you were reading? Uh, I wasn't reading it out. Hey, all right. As long as I did not disturb the dialogue. The keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Creswold? Uh, sure, where can I find him? The southeastern corner of the village. Okay, we can sell that for 1.5 uh, silver. And let's see. Teleport stone, grape pie, mug of beer. A the skull wanted a mug of beer. So let's see, we have... That cost five more, so let's go for the cheaper one. Their name is Horadric. Yeah, and... Yeah, the, <laughs> we have relationship points with these uh, people. I think we improve those mostly by doing tasks for them. Oh dear. And... Right here, the air fryer. Hmm? Be right back. Okay. I am skipping some things though, like we could have talked about the meat, but obviously they don't want meat yeah, that doesn't come with a certain certification of it, because, well, it's the Middle Ages, that meat could have come from anywhere, and literally came from anywhere. <laughs> what are you staring at? I think just looking around, I, I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith, my name is Kresvold. Okay, give him the letter, which got improves relationship. A letter for, yeah, for you from Horrid, right? The letter, of course, one minute away, and he can't be bothered to come himself. <laughs> Good point. I guess old habits never die. Thank you, sorry for my nagging. It seems my, it seems it's my new habit. Slimes again, Horrid has asked me to get rid of them. That's the time for those pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword and a noise potion. The sword is broken, you can repair it with a whetstone on the brown neck right behind me. You can keep the whetstone, maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. If you manage to kill them, bring me those remains and I'll spare you some materials. I should be right up, uh, up the other side of my house near the puddles. Uh, different actions. Yeah, welcome back. Different actions in the game spend your energy. Crafting, gathering, and fighting take energy. Fighting has been known to take health as well. Press space to attack. You can always refill your health and energy with food and potions. Press tab to open inventory. Sleeping will also restore your health and energy. Thank you. 
Okay, it seems that we are also have... I didn't know about this, but it seems that we can only ask people certain things at certain, well, relationship milestones. You know what? I'd like to work uh, with metal myself. Where can I find, uh, can I find some can find metal ore in swamp soil. That's a huge swamp to the west across the river. I used to collect ore there before the bridge collapsed. Furnace, create iron ingots, gathering swamp iron. Uh, yeah, similar to Stardew Valley, there's also areas that are locked off at the moment. I'd like to say, I like his uh, smithing outlay. Like, yeah, there are bridges and such that have been repaired, you know, that need to be repaired before we can well, progress past them. Yeah, um, when I look at this game, a little smithy, I feel like I'm, this point time I've been wanting to be like something like that in Ark and other games. But they usually can't do to that leaves many of those things exposed to Dinos. something that will rampage and break them. Yeah. Okay. Good job. Take this whetstone, just sharpen your broken tools, and do the good as new. Green jelly, red jelly. Okay. And we can leave. And I think that's about it for. Uh, or what they'll send be sending us for directly. Let's see. We have we have hardly any <laughs> research points. But yeah, this is this is a long term game to play, and night is falling, as you can see here in the well in the clock and the calendar up here. I... And yeah, if you're going from this from the graveyard to the village, you should probably plan to do n not much else because it'll take quite a bit of time to travel around places. As yeah, you go, I, I you'll likely can... unlock some speed options and oh, shortcuts, yeah. but for the moment we are stuck. Yep, and I think I can translate the calendar. <laughs> or is that the village? This place is so weird, but it feels so real. Everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. Sorry, I'm just leak my thoughts. Steven, remember, there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored here. Gathering new technology, gathering edible mushrooms, berry, and apples. Yeah, these things will help us feed ourselves. Wheat, exactly. I remember baking bread from it, and pies, and sweet berry pies. Okay, so toast, onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. Sorry, that <laughs> I know. Yeah, you know what? I need a beer. It's beginning like a one-sided relationship. So bring me beer and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you can get home. Questions? Yes, can you tell? It was rhetorical. Do I look like a magic hat with answers? Well, you are a magic hat, that's for sure, and you're answering some things. Technically, yes. Sorry to spot us. I'll be waiting for that beer at my place. No beer, no answers. Yeah. Yeah. As I was saying, I can I think I can translate the calendar. The sun is Sunday, now, and the moon is Monday. Yeah. At least I hope it's that is the meaning for I uh, I don't recognize the other symbols as uh, used for daytime, but yes, I see there's the male mark and the female mark, but I don't recognize the other two. And if the upper one looks like maybe a beetle of sorts... Yeah, that one looks like a, either a amulet or a pincer. By pins, I mean the thing that you would give a T-Rex to make it feel like it's an unstoppable. <laughs> okay. We have our wood storage here, stone storage here, because we'll be needing a lot of both, of course. Uh, anyways, we should probably rest some to regain our energy. We'll be able to use food for that as well, of course, and this will speed things up a bit. And we automatically wake up when we <laughs> get to full energy. Uh, this is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? 
and the new graveyard keeper. Hurrah, Kipper. Oh, I've been here for how long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely, or poor me. But it's it's too bad you're here. Wait, no, on the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. <laughs> a bipolar ghost. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbor instead. That sounds like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here. Actually, Gary only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick and he's Gary. Funny. Because, yeah, in Shakespeare, Yorick is the skull. <laughs> Ah, the half dead skull, the jealous bastard. You can only dream of what a peaceful rest here we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here. Especially that guy down in the lower right corner grave. He's so mean. We just get rid of him. Just dig him up and throw him in the river. I can even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. What license? Exhumation permission. You're such a dummy. To think, to think up a corpse, you need a license. The old keeper used to buy them through the mailbox near the church. Yeah, yeah. That is also how we improve our <coughs> the graveyard by just removing the bad axe. Yeah, and you want to to investigate the cellar. Uh, yeah. Which you walked away from. <laughs> Yeah, just, just walking around doesn't cost any energy, but like you saw, swinging the sword does. Yep. And this place is an absolute mess. What's that sound? Very big mess, though. Yeah, I'm great. I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Yeah, some sort of elven... thug. Looks like you can remove these blockages and fortify the arch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is one of those blockages that we need to fill up, and as you can see, there are quite a few of them. But if I remember correctly, this place will also be good for shortcuts around the place. Where did that blockage come from? For if that. And a small critique about games that have blockages like that. Sometimes the blockage looks out of place. Like, if you were to look up on the roof and start, you realize, wait, the roof is not broken. No wall is broken. Where did all this shit come from? Yeah, that's just a bad little bit of design. I think made too many games know that. Some games I noticed it, have done it that it makes somewhat sense. But also, I think that overlooks it a little bit. That I feel like, uh, if that is here, that would mean I could not walk on the, on the upper floor or something. Yeah. yeah. We can destroy all of this old junk for some better equipment, not equipment, materials, and some reds. You know, <coughs> red research. And okay, are those my own footprints or are those in blood? <laughs> those look in blood. Tutorial building, use a blueprint desk to access the you know, building interface, start building or removing objects in an area. Some objects can be built immediately. Some of them will need a little extra work with your hammer. This will spend time and energy. Uh, yeah, like I said, wood storage, stone storage. And yeah, we can act, place down extra storages and stuff later on. Uh, come on, get it a mushroom. There we go. Uh, yeah, let's see. Who was it? The lower right corner? Guessing that's this one here. And yeah, when we get in here, it'll automatically show us <coughs> what is giving what to the quality. And we can dig up these old, yeah, these dead bushes to get rid of them and get some stuff as well, of course. Because, like I said, every action gives us some, or most actions give us research stuff. I think it? The dead bushes could be useful for something, and it's probably better for the ground. I, I might be wrong here, but I think it's better for the ground. If you find a dead bush as such, remove the bush. Okay. Um, that 
hopefully should give more space for something else to grow. I've well, completely forgotten already where, which of the, the which the, you know one the ghost wanted gone. Uh, do I have a, a quest log or something? Let's see, Snake. He seems dangerous. You get why everybody calls him Snake. Let's see, is the ghost in here? Ah, Yorick, a spirit with a complicated perspective on life. But we can't view anything on him. Nazis map. But we don't really have a quest log, it seems. Or if there is one, we have to keep track of it ourselves. Okay, end goes to NPCs. Oh, it's showing the que it's showing the quests on here. Reach five at the graveyard, bring the letter to Cresswold and return. We, we skipped that last part. And uh, okay, York. We don't have to specifically remove the one that Yorick wanted to, so we can remove one of the crappy ones. Is it that, or we can't do it yet? Let's see. Any of these have any potential? Hmm. Yeah, this one has the least potential, so let's dig that one up. Yeah, I think I think it said something bottom right corner or something. Or do do we have to go for a specific one? Because we need to remove the oh, we need to remove these first. Okay. And let's see, these are decent. Move. It says something about the one at the very, at the very corner. Okay, zoom. And yeah, one body. And what we ha can do with bad bodies is, uh, I think it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. And yep. have a nice swim. Uh, what do you think you're doing here? The ghost asked me to have rid of this body. So now, so what? Now you're just going to do everything he asks? It's not like he can do anything to you. <laughs> He's disembodied. Because I can bite you to death while you're sleeping. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he has the jaw strength. Then again, he is bouncing off of his jaw. Of course, I'd never do anything like that, because we're friends, but you get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. You know where that river leads? The river is somewhere down to the town, I think? How can I burn the body? You know what? You're one of those guys who looks a lot smarter than they actually are. Thanks. I guess. That's what I'm talking about. We need fire and some wood. It's a bit tricky to make the whole thing burn to ash. Where can I burn it? We need a nice quiet place, like the place I use for my meditation. Across the road from the Moriari entrance near the cliff. Each important character who the graveyard keeper meets will appear on the character screen. With the bishop, the character's relation from 1 to uh, 0 to 100 is shown below the, uh, the character. The tasks related to a character are listed to the right of the character. Some services require a certain level of relationship. Okay. And yeah, Gary still wants that beer and it's night already again. Uh, yeah, you could throw out a bunch of corpses uh, during the original during game but i'm guessing at some point they probably added something that people would start noticing corpses drifting into town yeah and here the being people especially if you would if it's a town like this corpses may ruin your drinking water yeah depending what you drink get your drinking water from or the well might not be connected to a river necessarily but yeah, there's many ways to get drinking water, and um, if that's river is your only source, yeah, don't dump bodies into it. Yeah, which is why India has a lot of problems in a specific with a specific river, and there comes snake again, uh, because they burn uh, they burn bodies with 
uh, and then throw them into the, you know, the holy river and yeah people based in that same water and I think recently they had a big ass explosion in COVID cases because of a festival that had to do with that river and yeah you can imagine people weren't keeping some distance Maybe his rider should be more careful. One would expect ash to not be a problem when dumped into a river, but still. Yeah, I, actually, I don't remember if they fully burn them or not. I, of course, I'm no expert on Indian religion and such. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know that. I, I do know of the river, and there has been a lot of talk about the help of. Oops, pardon, just eight. I still get worse there, sorry. Uh, I was gonna say, I heard about the rib before, and there has been a lot of controversy about that. Yeah. I think that's even issue that's not much animals living in the river anymore due to that tradition, if I remember right. I could be wrong. Yeah, we'd have to look up some things, and at the moment we're looking up again, <laughs> not a, a controversial matters of religion. And hygiene. Yeah. Let's see, I have some questions. How can I get home? Easy, I'm sure you could use the portal on which hill? So I just need to go through it or what? Do we need to turn it on first? I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge is coming from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe some books from the library could help you? Oh, the church has a library in its cellar. Maybe astrologer knows something. He's a smart man. He used to steal books from libraries when I was a kid. <laughs> okay, how do I get to? Obviously, it's for the church, and I think your wine cellar might be connected to the church cellar. Or even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Basically, explain that this. Basically, this is what we. Up here is one part that we saw earlier, and well, we saw Snake walk by. So yeah, this is all connected. Net, net, I used to like fishing, I remember fishing. Once I caught a uh, fish this hard, I've got no hands to show how big it was, but believe me, it was huge. <laughs> I hate fish tails. And once, you know what, I need to go. Sure, sure, it's nice to have legs, don't forget to bring me some wine. Wine plus wine. He's so smart and very cheerful, though I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine is the be was the best, and he's a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. He used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon. Monday. Okay, the lighthouse somewhere near, let's see, started, I don't remember. All these questions are so frustrating, you're not a very good friend, you know? I already gave you your beard, it's not my fault that you weren't satisfied with it. Did you say beer or beard? Beer. Alright, I miss her then. I hope. Let's see, we can repair this so we can build in here. And one of the things... Yeah, the, the corpse hatch. Basically, as, as things are now... As things are now, the bodies got dumped outside, but if we fix this, it got dropped in here and, well... A stone cellar is a lot more refrigerated than uh, just the outside. Yeah, it kind of that's why people in the past, if you see a mound at someone's yard that looks like this, it's used was used to store food and such. And believe me, I used to use one of those as a workshop for making wooden weapons and such for fencing. And good God, it could get cold even during summer. So it was for the whole day you run in there, you would shiver like mad due to the climate difference. Yeah. Okay, just resting up a bit. Uh, yeah, those, that big rock giving only oh, one bit of stone is a bit disappointing. Hello again, Jorg. Good, it's much nicer without him at the graveyard. Even though we probably got the wrong one. <laughs> I'm still so sad though, I'm so lonely. I was. I was bad when I was alive. I should have been a better person. What do you mean? We're dead, but we still deserve some respect. 
Oh, fine, I'll tell you. Each corpse is a soul's vessel. It bears the marks of its li of its life. Sins are you know, red skulls and good deeds are white skulls. You know, the best decorations can make a graveyard a peaceful place when it's full of red skulls. <laughs> I'm not sure that I understand what you're talking about. I'm sure you don't. Uh, you better take good care of the graveyard. I'll be watching you. Whilst you sleep. I can't do anything. I'm so sad. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, what I was explaining basically, all human range their own unique spiritual attributes, gets its own good deeds, bad deeds. When its body parts, you can change a corpse uh, deeds by removing organs and embalming. The main way to increase your graveyard's decoration score or your graveyard score is to decorate graves with objects that have more decorative decoration score. Each line that has both you know, good deeds and decoration counts as one. Uh, of these graveyard score lines that have red never count but you need to fill them with decorate the great uh, good deeds good deeds lights the basic, again like i said red skulls bad uh, white skulls good but we need to work from left to right filling them in so basically like it says here uh, uh, <clears throat> we first need to fill out the red ones and then we can get to the uh, the white ones so that is why we'd want to remove as many red skulls as possible okay, now. so many games i want to make to do to all the skulls we've been playing all, all games i had skulls in them of late okay first thing i'm going to do and we've We've gone past half an hour, but I think we can go an hour with this. I don't think the next game... Oh, that, that gave quite a bit of stone. The next game... It might not take as long. I don't... I've heard a lot about it, but I've... Uh, not really... I've heard of it, but I have never really heard if it was good or bad. If I did, I don't remember it. Yeah, there are some games I've heard or seen around, but... Don't know the quality of... <clears throat> Yeah, that is why I have a third game prepared. Okay, one side is fixed, but I don't think we have the materials for this side, because we need more hinges. I think we can buy those. But for now, let's instead fix this place up. Uh, okay, it's very obviously where we've been with all these footsteps. <laughs> it lasts quite a while. Yep. Uh, yeah, those ex those ex exhumation documents, I think we need to buy those, and they don't come cheap. So that is why we want to well, be careful with the corpses we put in here. Yeah, I just hope you took out the right one. Though it's, though, yeah, it would feel like we probably would have known if it did take out the wrong one. I don't. I don't think it mattered which one we yeah, did. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Oh, and there's the donkey with another corpse. Hmm. Donkeys, an animal I recently gained a lot of respect for. Okay. I think I told you about this uh, uh, some months ago that apparently farmers are replacing their weapons and even some replacing, not skipping out, the cat, the getting dogs and just get uh, guard donkeys. Okay. I knew that guard yeah. llamas was a thing. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, from what I remember, donkeys don't kill predators, but they will give them a good beat them for, to let them... Run away and flee. Oh, yes. And that's all a picture. Grab a dingo by the ear with its teeth and carry it off. <laughs> okay. Like a disappointed mother. More like an angry get off my lawn, you fucker. And as I understand, a pack of god donkeys are cheaper than one god dog. And they could. Is for, yeah, and they're better, easier to train even, apparently. But still, they still stubborn, but... Yeah, you, you can trust them 
to defend you animals. And apparently, donkeys have a mutual dislike for canines. Okay. So if they see a wild dog, dingo, or wolf, they will not care if it's friendly or tame. It will chase it off. <laughs> okay, we did a little circle there. Okay, I'd, I'd heard of guards, llamas. Who basically, if you put llamas among certain uh, flocks of animals, they'll uh, think that the animals are part of their flock and thus protect them. That's basically what they do with donkeys. Okay. And the more the bigger the flock, the more donkeys they get. And the donkeys have been apparently very practical to defend sheep. Let's see. And I, I even got surprised that they are intentionally even breeding guard donkeys that are bred and trained to guard. Okay, that, that is interesting. Yeah, this already given me ideas to revive an idea we wonder about to have a war donkeys. <laughs> uh, they'd, be, they'd be fitting with dwarves since they're both yeah, stubborn as all hell. Yeah, dwarf or halflings, or especially dwarf and female, they both are stubborn. Okay, we're out of energy. So let's sleep. I and, think yeah. we can go for one more day and then call it. Because sure. from here it's oh it's from here on it's uh, open where we go. We can go explore. There's still some things to learn about. But yeah, like I said, this is a long term game. Yep. And I will link you the video about the donkeys later, so don't fill the video with donkey facts. <laughs> okay. And so now we have rain. Yeah. If people are curious, I would recommend looking up what top. I think that's his YouTube channel's name. And uh, just Google about uh, YouTube about the attack donkeys. And his video should probably come up. He was just randomly recommend me. I got curious and one day I just decided, alright, this has been recommending me for a week. I'm curious, and good gods, I now look at god donkeys the same way again. <laughs> okay, it seems I'm being blocked from gathering these mushrooms by the trees. I say that and immediately he goes for the mushroom from the tree. Okay. Yeah, we can get rid of the stumps as well. I like the graphic of this one. Have some. You can make some trunk, furnace, stockpile, yard space. Okay. Um, where do we craft just these? Or do we may have to make those at the graveyard? And yeah, this is this is our base walking speed. We can't sprint or anything. At least not yet. If it ever is. Uh, just need some exercise. As I say, I, I like this top-down view and art style. It looks very nice. Yeah, it, it also keeps you aware of everything around. Yep. Uh, this is me. I like Starbound, but I sometimes wish they made Starbounds like this. So you have a better perspective where you explore and how you build your base for... Then you have a survival game. And you build a base and you only see, only see it from the side? The, it, there's something awkward about it after a while. Hmm. Yeah, I should try like, playing that game again sometime. And what is this about? Yeah, but when you play a game like this, then the layout of your house makes a bit more sense. True. Uh, yeah, different people like different perspectives, literally and figuratively. Yeah. Yeah, I still like Starbound, but yeah, a little bit wish I sometimes wonder if it would have been better. This is where we cook uh, raw sliced meat. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, where do we craft a burger? Well, my chicken burger was a tortilla bread with some condiments, but still. <laughs> Craft. I'm well, not well, seeing... I think 
human corpse burger. <laughs> Furnace. We already have but, timber and stone storage, so there's no need for more. Yeah, there's really like something. I think the thing you're selling the flesh to the tavern is probably a reference to something. Not the one I'm getting to, and yeah, like I said earlier, even if we tried, we can't at the moment because in this world they're at least smart enough to require a certificate for meat. Wait, I thought you had that. Uh, no, we have a burial certificate. And uh, yeah, like I said, then uh, in these old days, meat was gathered from everywhere, like animal meat, human meat, and of course people at some point started figuring out like, uh, we should probably have people see if this is good meat or not. Yeah, for, I think that it was taboo to eat human meat. It still like is, <laughs> for obvious reasons, beyond yeah. like that. There's also a chance of getting diseases from human meat. Yeah, here's the thing, we were not meant to each other, uh, to eat each other for, apparently, even just eating human meat, have a, a chain a reaction in our mind that messes up, us up. Like, the body reacts to know that we're not supposed to eat this. You keep doing it and doing it and the, it, the body just starts getting confused. So okay. even if it hurts the human meat, it will start messing with your brain and give you brain diseases after a while for yeah you're not supposed to eat human meat yeah that's one that's where one of the uh, uh a spe oh hello that's where oh, a disease called kuro comes from which might sound familiar to some people because that is the p disease that the dead island zombie virus is based on they actually yeah. call it the uh, cougar in there as well. Yeah, and I think we remember right, there is some extreme few cannibal tribes left. Uh, some people were meant to begin with, and yeah, if I remember right, the ones they do have contact with has been confirmed to the entire tribe to have that uh, brain disease simply from, yeah, eating uh, each other for so long that they are almost born with the de defect in the brain or something. Yeah. So, yeah. I won't be surprised if enough generation happens, it, they probably end up turning into real-life ghouls. <laughs> yeah, hopefully people have started picking up on that. That is not a good idea. Yeah, the rest of the world uh, does that luckily enough. Though I don't know if the, how we will work with the, tri the few tribes, and yeah, I do respect them to want to preserve and protect some of the still trim tri primitive tribes around. Especially with, well, you know, you remember what happened in South America when the Spanish came. Yeah. And th there are still missionaries of religions just trying to invade uh, tribal lands and to forcibly convert them. Though, yeah. that hasn't ended up too well for a lot of those, to my knowledge. Yeah, and they are, I think even in some countries they're being restricted with, no, leave them alone, you make it make them sick. Yeah, that's also a thing. They, uh, yeah. <laughs> Similar to, uh, think to the Spanish and the Aztec, uh, we'd be introducing diseases to them that we ourselves are have grown immune to over the centuries. Uh, but they have not. Yeah, and was that one I was referring to when I said about the Spanish? But yeah, Spanish came and conquered, but they also came break the, the biggest part they re erected the South American, Central American was the whole they brought with them accidentally diseases. Yeah. This is the reason why I think they are strict with preventing missionaries from entering the tribes. Just to keep the, the missionaries from spreading disease. Uh, okay, a bit more. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, on second thought, I think that is mud that we're tracking in, not blood. Inquisitor, I've just seen the Inquisitor right nearby going up at the pass to Witch Hill. I'm sorry, he'll kill me, or even worse. Calm down, I'll go distract him. Maybe I'll find something on that hill that will help me get home. I can't believe I'm seeing this, but I didn't expect the Inquisition. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yes, that was an accidental joke, but it's kinda true. For once I did not expect them. Oh, oh no. Wait, no. Is it gonna be the Spanish? <laughs> or maybe the Mexican oh. Inquisition. Were there any problems? Oh, 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 oh. Well, Monsignor, except uh, there was this strange fella snooping around. Oh, oh, oh. oh, there he is. Halt. Oh, Monsignor. Guys, come down. See? I live here in this graveyard. And yeah, I think that is Spanish. So it is the Spanish Inquisition. Oh. <laughs> 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 it is the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> You're definitely a new one. I feel that you're telling the truth. Would you join us and me at the witch burning ceremony? Uh, yeah, probably best that we don't get uh, the attention on us. So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Well, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. We, but <laughs> yeah, we probably want to be careful with these people. We're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Uh, there's the attention already. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one through fate and humankind itself. Uh, having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and now there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. The graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising, I can feel it. Righteous answer rises with it in my soul. We've burned thousands of witches and heretics for 30 years. It's only the beginning. Yeah. I light the fire. Okay, uh, Frollo. So, you work with a lot of dead bodies, huh? Yes, I think it's part of my job. You live right beside the, this hill near the graveyard. That's right. Yes. Interesting, interesting. You know, I need something to be my friend here at the village. A friend of mine you know, is a friend of the Holy Inquisition. I don't trust the villagers. They don't go to church and even have refused to lay in their graves after death. Eh? you're new here, you might notice something unusual. So, it'll be a pleasure to be your friend, and hopefully that'll stop him from looking into us. A wise choice. Friendship is based on trust and goodwill. To earn my thrust and you know, to be your friend of the Inquisition, you will need to show your goodwill. Of course, it can be just that easy. So, I have a couple of minor tasks for you. What kind of tasks? Everything in due time. Today is a day of wrath, not a day of sweating the minor details. We can talk next uh, mail day or any other mail day. I like to come here. There are no other places where I can feel my holy wrath so deeply. Yeah, so definitely, uh, I think, very New Testament. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess there is. I, I, have, I have a faith in the old Norse gods and such, but I am respectful for mine and other people's religions. So I'm... I'm not gonna go around and piss Christians off just because I'm paying and all that, but... I never liked this kind of uh, religious fanatism. Yeah. Like, so, if, you're, if you're going to hunt people down for their religion, you're only going to make them go underground or become even more ingrained in their religion, which makes them fanatical in their turn, which in turn causes them to go after you. Yeah, and in early days, before New Testament all that, when there was mostly just Jews, they teach that there is a god and many other gods, and you should respect the other gods. But after the, when Jesus came, same things started to change slowly, and I don't know when it started to them to become hostile to other religions. Hmm. But yeah, I'm not gonna pass Christian as such. Just yeah, it's simple to say I don't like fanatics. 
Yeah, nobody likes a fanatic except for all other fanatics. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's deal with this that. last corpse when it arrives here. And then we'll call it. Yep. And yeah, this is this is an interesting game, but I've never really gotten far with it. I'd gotten to the point where I opened the church, which is already going to take a bit of work since the graveyard is like minus 25 still. And a bit further past that, there there is a dungeon underneath all of this as well where you can go explore. And I don't know if I ever entered that or not. There. And it gets foggy and the donkey arrives. Of course, with a new body. So, yeah, th this would be a better uh, suited for uh, <clears throat> like a uh, long place that I, I just play a game, record it, and then cut it down if I ever start doing those, really. Let's see. I think yeah. that if you remove fat, that it helps improve. I, I could be interested to uh, co-host uh, on one of those, though, as you said, long play. Yeah, that would mean there would be at least one day in the week where we need to sit down and play this for quite a while. Yeah, not, not really. We could just go for an hour or two and then just uh, cut things down if needed. Oh, Anyways, true. Yeah, removing the removing the fat did improve the corpse. So let's dig this up. And by yeah, the way, the, the decay is basically that green line that was shown earlier. The more decay the body is, the more of the good deeds will go to waste. And there we go, a neutral grave. I guess that makes sense, but the less gooey stuff your whole body. The easier time has to preserve without getting as moldy. Yeah. I, I really just don't remember where you can craft stuff and they haven't really specifically pointed us to a place. But yeah, yeah let's call it and try the next game. Let's right. Hide in here. So much spooky space. Like, I, I have no idea if this gets uh, better or worse as it goes, but at the very least it is uh, interesting and wants you to keep going. Yeah, I think it has, there has been many people playing it, if I remember right. Yeah, but, but never uh, really too far from what I've seen, with, typically. Yeah, mostly due to, I think it was mostly due to early access. So they didn't want to show, play it too much and such. But once it was fully released, people did make more playthrough of it. I just, yeah, I had other things I wanted to watch at the time. Okay, uh, let's see. Should be able to share this one to you. It worked earlier. Uh, options, graphics. Um, actually, that should work because now it, it got deselected. Before, yeah. I didn't get these selected because I could just reach the mouse over to the second screen. <laughs> you can see it? I can see. I can see. And uh, yeah, this is Gun, uh, a 2005 game, and well, very obviously a Western shooter. So, let's go with normal. I have no idea what that first letter was. Oh, we're going from one Spanish Inquisition to another Spanish. Uh. It's very quiet. I hear something. Okay, I have the low volume.
I have no idea what that said. Montana, Montana 1880. 1880. My name is Colton White. My father and I hunt game for the steamboat to travel on the Missouri. Not a bad living if you can stand your old man kicking you every morning at dawn. I think it said like 30 or 50 years later. I do. I am a bit curious. Where does the double part cross come from? I think it. I think there was more years for the other game. Other scene was from sometimes 1500s. Uh, good point. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be a good. It'd be a big, pre big, pretty big leap to, <laughs> to go from conquistadors to cowboys. Yeah. Yeah, obviously very old, this. Bite some jerky and collect your gear. Time to earn our pay. Come on. Let's see. The more Keyboard game we bag, the more we get paid. Let's get moving. Right behind you, Paul. Okay. I don't know if I... Do I have Indian has ancestry or something? Hmm. Well, usually when I see hunters Help more dressed like a bat, they usually a bit more... Come on. Hmm. Yeah, more like the Native Americans, at least more respectful of this them. Way. You yeah. like a bit more. Yeah, that... This game is probably isn't going to uh, put uh, Native Americans in there too much uh, of a good look. Mm, nice shot. Got him. Okay. And what now? Do we Quail. need? Huh? I promised the cook I'd bring him some. Shoot when I flush him out. Uh, how do we draw, draw your you? weapon? Left click to draw. Wait okay. here while I stir up them birds. Okay, right click is melee. Left click put your weapon drawn to fire. We're gonna need at least three. Nice shot. <laughs> Got another. I, don't I, I like the clothing. Well, I'll be yeah. down. You did it. Hey, you're pretty good with that iron. See if you can take down the next group with your quick draw. Quick draw? See to enter quick draw modes. There, I have to touch them. It says, when do you hunt with a pistol? I try to get all these. Five in one group? Okay. I'm uh, pretty, pretty sure you're not supposed to hunt animals with a pistol, Leon. I'm pretty sure pistols are meant for fighting and self defense. Well, the, these small birds with a, a rifle, you uh, basically explode them. Well, what's next? Depends if you're using the right. Yeah. Let's go hunt kind of some hunt rifle. Yeah. But uh, the thing he has there, uh, yeah. Uh, my father actually had it once that, that, boy? He, that uh, he used an air rifle uh, at a shooting range. Uh, sports. <laughs> run away, run away! Really sharp. Uh, I get the feeling this is was meant for consoles okay, as well because it's this. it's very uh, lenient on the auto aim. Which uh, is if it's in your cursor, it gets shot basically. Keep quiet. Uh, uh, yeah, what was? Uh, yeah, my father and friends were basically playing at a. Uh, an air oh, rifle, rifle uh, thing like with clay pages and such and they spotted i th forget Hurry what up. kind of bird but a small right. one like uh, a sparrow or something Pull out your rifle, and call. yeah they just just for shits and giggles they tried to shoot it Hurry and well when they hit it only rifle. the legs remained apparently pull out your rifle cole yeah. left off to switch weapons okay Come this here. one has a much narrower shot Hopefully that they do a lesson to remember to well at least realize that how dangerous their weapons are. Yeah. 
Use your sight to get a closer. But I think insects are too strong for a small bird, especially for hunting birds. So insects are meant. Yeah, they, they are not meant for hunting at all. So they still will be bad uh, hunting tools. Okay, <laughs> the other one didn't bail out immediately once it's heard the shots. Not how they typically would react, at least according to Red Dead Redemption. Come on, let's go collect our kills. Careful on the way down. I don't many Western games. Probably because I really grew up Western quickly as a kid. You hear that, boy? Whoa. Uh, Red Dead, the Red Dead games are good. God damn it. We gotta keep them off our field. <laughs> you should uh, I think I played some of Red Dead Redemption 2. Nice work. Uh, but then I got distracted by the multiplayer version yeah, the mode here. of it. Uh, yeah, which kept That's me busy it. for a few months. Here's your name. They're getting close. Oh. Make sure some time. My dad or something. Class, but Western can never be my first choice. It's not like that it seems to be the last of it. Yeah, it my interest as much. Yeah, yeah, you'd probably have it much easier if it was Vikings or such. Yeah, I do like Native Americans and stuff, though. How the fuck did that sneak up on us? Uh, yeah, bears back then were basically a death sentence. If you uh, yeah. stand up an F, you'll basically a. Use my okay, uh, it's this one. F. We do not want to get hit by the moving furry truck. Uh, yeah, in Red Dead, bears are trouble. A bad news bears, you could say. And that's the level done. So, interestingly enough, uh, have you heard about the flat face bear? Um, I think I've heard mention of that species a few times. Yeah. The, the, it is uh, during this time period, I don't think I recall. There has been a rumor that someone shot one and had, and the skull is hidden in the, in the Smithsonian. Okay. But they apparently lost it or something. Hmm. And also, someone else that also occur, occur, apparently also <sighs> killed an Octode, but lost his skull as well. <laughs> sure took your sweet time. Okay. I was just admiring your rifle. Another tick or two, and you'd be putting me to bed with a pick and shovel. You're too damn ornery to die. Well, it prides me to see it's rubbed off on you plenty. Always sure remember, son, dead. in this world, pure cussedness will carry you farther than a Comanche's pony. Ah, uh, here's our payday. <laughs> okay, he uh, stretched his neck a bit there. I don't have make a good chance with these games. For some reason I thought this game was always like a sort of alien bounty hunter game or something. Maybe I just saw the wrong previews or something. Yeah, or I was wondering if it was a simple shooter or something. Yeah, it, it doesn't. It doesn't seem too terrible, but it doesn't seem that interesting either. Wait here. Be back in like a moment. Red Dead did every all of this better. Did you bring it? Where is it? You safe. I have a bit of intrigue. Yeah, I think too many Western games lies too much on the you know cliches. Throw, like true and cliches. No, I don't know. That it. Yeah. I suspect the new Western games 
at least uh, try to do something at least a somewhat glorious unique. glorious bounty, my son. Truly the Lord has blessed you with the talent of a marksman. I do all right, preacher. I'll rest easy tonight knowing one so capable as you is among us. A good day to you, sir. The game is obviously showing its age, but its That's animations are still quite nice. Keep an eye on it. I'm gonna have a word with the pilot. They they have good uh, movement and stuff that looks natural. Yeah. And typically, that's what I care about the most. If people are snapping their necks at 180 degrees, then uh, no. Where it is you want, and you will save the lives. Of everyone on this boat, they will be done. Yep. Oh, okay. Now. Oh. The hell did he get a tomahawk from? Wait, others. I, I can never remember enough about the Civil War or something, if that is the Union uh, out uh, colors or not. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I don't think that's the Union. Just because of that, I can't remember which one it was which, but... There's, I think one of the Southern soldiers. Okay, I shot this one in the balls. Probably remember great other ones that wanted to keep slaves and all that. Next. White men turn savages where they from. Stop them! Drink from the class, which we have only a limited amounts. <laughs> Very early for Dark Souls. <laughs> I'll try to remember, but I, I know I have been in the Federation a lot, but I forgot which one was which. I, I constantly keep forgetting it's world, and <laughs> I put like half a, a cylinder in that guy's nuts. For the, the, the terms I'm most used to is grey is cow and blue is norm. Get that wheel for you, we are as good as day. Uh, how do we get that free then? Uh, oh, of course, this thing. But they, yeah, I saw that great clothes in the room. Someone get the cannon on the keyboard pad to it. Oh, here. Get to that cannon. Oh, okay. That's I I don't recognize the cannon cannon. Dude, there's someone went overboard. Oh, hello there. Um, I think it's being a bit overconfident trying to get to someone with a fucking cannon. That cannon... <laughs> I don't think that kind of cannon could be able to shoot that far. Yeah, but old game. Where? Are we getting besieged by the forts? Uh, and I, I think I just got that guy in the head. We're still being shot at. Anyway. I got the pilot! Boat's out of control! Get up here, kid. I need your help. Okay, let's go again. Oh, oh, out of ammo with that. Okay, didn't I pick up rifle ammo earlier? Okay. 
Oh, heal up. When was the American Civil War again? Uh, the 1800s somewhere, I think. Yeah, I was going to say this game said was 18... Uh, the, this 1880. is 1800... Yeah, 1885. So, yeah, I'm wondering, are we in middle during that war or before or after? No, probably not before. I don't actually know. Hmm. Yeah, let's finish this mission and we'll probably call it there. Quick draw. Yeah, we saw that before. There's no real need to... Fine shooting, Cole. <laughs> There's no need to give us a tutorial on the thing you gave us a tutorial for last time. Come on, you shot me there. I'll take this side. You mean the other. Oh, that, that rifle got a bunch to it. They just keep coming. They're coming from both sides. What the heck did I hit there? What is going on? Yeah, that's a. Uh, Preacher obviously wants something and most likely what was in that safe. But yeah, knowing knowing Western games, it practically always boils down to money. The money or something else. It's too late. That preacher killed it. Son of a bitch is leading the ambush. Son, listen close, cause there ain't much time. I've done my best to raise you right, but all your life I've been lying to you. The boilers are gonna blow. Quick, take this. That's a token to the Alhambra, the cat house in Dodge City. Go there and ask for Jenny. I ain't leaving you, Pa. God damn it, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I ain't your father. Now go. <laughs> There's no real reason for him to have not jumped in. That's a pretty cool front on the train. It's double skull, seriously. Yep. And there we have Preacher Medieval. Well, Reverend, were my orders carried out? With a vengeance. And the missing item? It couldn't be recovered, sir. You failed me? No, sir. The whore had it stowed inside the safe, and it sank to the bottom of the river. Failure was not an option. The price must be paid. Okay, I think it's more than just money. Yeah. Also, there was obviously a Confederate flag. Yeah, and I respect that there does seems to be something oh, what's this? strange that is a artifact they are after. That back. Yeah, probably. Ain't no harm, friend. I thought for certain you were dead. I, I kicked you three times. Who are you? Friends call me Honest Tom. I need to get upriver. The steamboat's been ambushed. The Morning Star? Hell, it was three days ago. Were you aboard? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hate to tell you, friend, but no one survived. Renegades got them all. Scalped every man, woman, and child. Bloody savages. Ned. Where's Dodge City from here? Through the pass, about a day's ride to the ferry boat. That horse for sale? In a hurry, huh? I don't blame you. If I had me a token to the Alhambra, I'd be in a hurry, too. <laughs> you, uh, look to be a sporting man. Care to wager? Hmm. Okay, the, the story is a bit... Uh, it is alluring. Like like you want to know what 
that artifact is and such and what the hell is going on. And yeah, I probably got a lot of things wrong with like uh, the uniform or something. Was it the yeah. Confederacy that had the blue uniforms? I know the blue is north and south is gray. And gray wanted slavery and so they were usually seen as the bad guys. Okay, because that's a bit of a so, mix up then, because the flag in that train was of the Confederate South, I think. Or actually, it was yeah, so the, we, if I remember correctly, it was the banner of one of the generals, not yeah, the yeah. actual Confederate flag. Or at least not what people think, consider, or call the Confederate flag these days. That was actually yeah, the, or, the banner of one specific general, I think. Yeah, the banner is for the South. But well, many of them use that banner, if I remember right, and usually sign as the South, where they, they wanted to keep slaves and all that. I think it was something that is more complex, but yeah. <laughs> so if, if there were gray uniforms at that flag, it makes sense. So it could be the it could be the Confederate and the Union be could be in the north. We people probably, probably that, uh, that, but I'm I'm just conf it could just be because this game is old or just my monitor, but those uniforms look more blue than grey. But actually they were pretty faded, so they could have been just as easily grey. Yeah, they looked yeah, so grey hats and well dark yeah, yeah, hats. Then, then it was probably just but most of them were just half naked as well, so not much to look at there, anyways. Yeah, and only a few of them had the stone parts of the green uniform remaining. Uh, yeah, not too sure about this game. Uh, it, it it is all, and it's showing its age in a lot of corners. Um, uh, we'll put this as a maybe for like Saturday, Sunday, you know, and such. Yeah, and this one, at least look into if it is, it has good reviews or not. Uh, yeah, G-Man Lives probably has played it or something. He's done a lot of reviews on shooter games. Yeah, okay. at least I'll give it points for not being into the typical trope of a bank robbery or money. I kind of, I think nowadays I like the Western that are a bit more mysterious. Are there something else going on? Yeah, the mystical. Yeah. Okay, windowed mode off, and now OBS has captured it. Yeah, this is the third game that we'll be trying. I typically have a, a fourth game ready anyways, anyway, but we're at uh, an hour and a half, and if we give this one a half hour, then yeah, we'll have enough done. Let's yeah. see. Uh, where is it? Replay tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I re pictured my retirement. Getting shot over a nebula of bad area acid in the ass end of nowhere. But I'm invested now. And there's one last thing I want to do before I quit. Uh, yeah, this is by the same guys as <coughs> Gunpoint, which we played yesterday. <laughs> what? And yeah, this time we're in space. And yeah, let's just move back in here. They, yeah, they, these are developers that like uh, quite a lot of humor in their games. Yeah, and demonstration or throwing someone out a window. WSD to move. And yeah, it's top down instead of sideways this way. We need these key cards. And pause now. You can click items in this list to teleport them to you. If they're close enough to you. So yeah, we can just outright nab the key card from across the room. And uh, okay, we have three people dead or injured in there. Pause now. Teleport your face breaker to you. <laughs> Fiasco's face breaker. To left click to make your main attack. A freakishly fast, light, quiet, and powerful non lethal melee weapon, previously owned by your character, say the Fiasco. Instantly resolves any personal related <laughs> discipline and disputes. Uh, yeah. Next to that, it's showing uh, the traits of this weapon. It's concussive, knocks people unconscious for the foreseeable future, ignores armor, darkness, 
8 meters to your target uh, in a strike on the long right dash range. Quick recovery. Swing again almost immediately after a successful strike. And quiet strike. Strike can only be heard from 1 meter away. Wait, what is it? Is that a hammer or...? It's a punchy. <laughs> Okay, we can take his gun, and then yeah, we can... Is that a power glove? <laughs> Basically. Oh, God. Yeah. Gun, hold button to aim your shot, release the fire. Lethal causes people to die, usually forever. <laughs> and loud. Shots will be heard by all guards inside a large radius shown on the pause screen, even through walls. Yeah. And there we go. Yep, we can lure people around. Alarms. Guard sound the alarm if they hear a gunshot, find a body, see you. If the countdown hits zero, you'll be captured because now they're beelining for the nearest base. Taking out the captain cancels the countdown. And the captain is out the window. <laughs> so now we can take control. And with T, we set course. Breaker, I've got the seed ship. This is a seed ship, it's small. I've laid in a course for Caldrock Haven. The ship can crash the defenses, but you, you've got to reprogram them from the inside while they're down. I'm going to throw myself into space now. Meet me in the bar if I don't die. And yeah, throw yourself into space. The window has been broken, but a force field has been put up. And... Art by John Roberts, music by John Hallepert, uh, music by Chris Harvey, code by John Winder, a lot of Johns, heat signature, and my camera is <laughs> blocking part of it. Caldrick Haven has been captured and recaptured four times this year. First three times, no one who lived there could fight it. This time, one of them can. This time, one of them has a 40 year career in espionage, a breach of stealth pod, and a kinetic face breaker. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna change one hands one last time. This time, I'm taking it. And zoom right back in. Mode click control pod. And yeah, catch yourself. Break to try to match your speed to the thing you're approaching. Okay. Command and pit. Yep. And we can catch ourselves like we've done automatically before. Now we need to head here, which is Cold Rock Haven, which, yeah, yeah that basically that seed ship got sent ahead of us. And yeah, this works a bit like hard space, like if you keep, if you, you, you keep your momentum because there's no resistance to it, the only way to show, slow, bleh, slow down is to break or to, well, head. <coughs> Fire off in a different direction. As long as you get close enough, you'll still dock. As long as you're not going at like hyper speed. <laughs> God. And yeah, this is one of our hubs from which we'll be able to get missions and such. But for now, let's talk to Breaker. Holy shit, you're alive. Because you reprogrammed the station defenses, right? Yeah, I'm just surprised when anything I touch still works. Maybe it doesn't. Let's see. If it shoots the bad guys before we relax. Good point. Hey, we have a station. Uh, we have a station. This is gonna start something you know. Other stations are gonna want to throw off the shackles like this. Four factions fighting over this cloud. If you ever get their strongholds, this war just ends. That's the plan. So you don't want to postpone your retirement to help out. You tear through those these amateurs. I've been shot ten times, Breaker. I'll be lucky if I make it to the couch. Fair 
enough. So that's it. You're really gonna retire. I can't picture it. What are you gonna do? Have connections. People have problems. Gonna help out. Have connections. People have money. I'm gonna sell out. I'm gonna sit in that booth watching you guys do all the hard work. I'm gonna make the stage and kill you on sight again. I can never tell when you're joking. I'll let you know. And we can even go back and check things. So, and we sp <laughs> still got out there. And yeah. Tutorial character obviously much too powerful. <laughs> she gets to retire and just sit there the entire game. And now we can choose one of these four characters. <laughs> Let's see. Personal mission. Rescue my girlfriend from Sovereign. Yep. Each of these characters will start out with their own equipment. Though most of them, well, all of them here, start out with a wrench. Uh, this one has two sidewinders. This one has an extreme range crash beam. A rechargeable high capacity slipstream and a stealth shield. Though you can see the items are differently colored, which of course means different rarities. Uh, automatic concussive shotgun. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's pick Carol here. Pra practice being cool. Okay, start practice. Yeah, this is basically VR for hollow training. Let's see. Hold to hit a guard with your uh, with your wrench, then pause immediately. Yeah. Take his gun. Equip it. And bang. Yeah, we can pull Matrix stuff in this. Bloody heck. Next violence, this one's against... Let's <laughs> keep exciting violence. Next violence. Okay, same deal. Yep, pause. Enter throw mode. And <laughs> you see where we're going with this. <laughs> Bang. Okay, grab that. Take the wrench. And next one. Handle this one however you like. Remember, everything cool requires pausing. Okay, then. Um, get gun. Equip. Throw. And whilst that is traveling, we can... There. You are now cool enough for reality. <laughs> Venice violence. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can get up to some real shit in this. And actually, the Steam cards of this game... I, I have played this game before, of course. Uh, <clears throat> the Steam cards of this game are all uh, stories by fans of uh, yeah, shenanigans that happened in their missions. Go oh, us. Let's see. Capture Westfield Stone for 12 uh, credits. Steal the wallet at this object. So for the same. Medium, steal the Chersney device. And hard, rescue Kome Vesser. And these, these are all randomly generated. And glitch back guarantee. This client will instantly teleport you out if you're about to be injured in any way. So there's no risk in attempting this mission. The ship will escape, though the, so the mission will be cancelled. And yeah, it also says, yeah. <clears throat> Alarm response, light reinforcement. If the alarm is triggered, a series of increasingly powerful contractors will arrive at the ship's telepath and search for you. Okay, I don't remember ever having that happen. But yeah, we should start with easy missions. Of course, the dif more difficult, better pay. But also the better, and the harder it is, of course. Let's see. Alert response none. This ship cannot flee to a station if the guards sound the alarm. So we have as long as you like to deal with it. Few guards, skeleton crew. Few guards, not skeleton guards. <laughs> non lethal weapon required. Some of these missions will require things like this, but they don't want to get anyone killed. You'll need something that uh, can knock your target out without killing them. Uh, look for items with hit the concussive straight. Also check the bosses tab to see what kit your target has. And yeah, let's see, target, your target is this type of guard, and they only have a gun, nothing really special beyond that. And then the guards, they have key cards and also guns, and yeah, let's accept that one. And then we enter here to take off. 
Yeah, some missions will require different things like uh, pure stealth, no witnesses, uh, no kills at all, all of that sort of thing. For now, let's just head on over. And yeah, most of these missions, or actually I think all of these missions except for special ones where you liberate, uh, oh, where you liberate another station will be on ships. Oh, and we need to be careful there. Those are searchlights, and yeah, as I found out the hard way when I first played this game, if they spot you, they will shoot you out of the sky. Oh dear. And yeah, now uh, we're in here. Let's this see. is a wreck. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, hello, you are coming this way. Okay. But then... I could see orbiting Earth, maybe, but... I could not see this as a functional spaceship. Okay, let's take that gun, just in case. Uh, let's see what... Slipstream. Time flows ten times slower and you move five times faster for ten seconds, which will feel like one for everyone else. What the hell was that? Uh, quote. Recharges at full capacity for free when you return to a friendly station. Can be used five times. Yeah, let's equip that. So oh, it's, it's already equipped. Uh, yeah, basically, it will out-Matrix our Matrix stuff even more. Oh, um, God. Yeah, I, orange is basically the highest uh, rarity, except for you, the unique ones. Which are green, or light green. Stealth shield hides you from all enemies and sentries in the direction you're facing. Activating it consumes one charge and the shield stays on for five seconds. Stealth shields are cool because now any seemingly empty room could contain your murderer. Okay, and oh, it's a quiet gun. Okay, that'll be useful. And I accidentally used the slipstream. <laughs> Let's see, there's nothing here actually. But we did get a key card from this guy. Who we can pick up like this and just throw around. Actually, we could probably throw him into a gu another guard. For now, though, we don't have that key card. But that guy does come out. Just capture, so. Yeah, let's just sneak in. I think there is a way to look further than this, but I don't remember actually. If there is, and there we go. Grab you, and get out. And yeah, it can be as easy as that. And of course, it was an easy mission. Okay, just full throttle and slow down as we approach. Okay. Uh, that might have been heard. Yeah, okay. Pink snow? What was that? Yeah, a motor or something with their engine set to loud. Let's see. Objective delivered to medical, mission complete. Zero crew killed, bloodless. Uh, Non-target crew harmed. Yeah. One living witnesses, no. So we got the enigma point. Alerts, uh, alarms, zero, so silent. Injury suffered unscathed. Time and then the pay. And this liberation progress that is building up to the next station that we can free and use as a base then. And basically with that, we need to slowly work our way we can zoom out. We need to work our way to each of these strongholds here. Each for one faction. We have Sovereign here. We have the Offworld faction. The Foundry. And the Glitchers. Yeah, these are those are all in a war for this nebula. So yeah, we need to take all of them out. Okay. Uh, let's see. Another mission. Where do we... Yeah, personnel mission, no personal mission. Yeah, each of these characters have a personal mission, and if you want to complete that, then you can retire the character. And then, playing Richard Gunn there, bartender, then you can have one of their items that they have, you can have that be inherited by another character. Okay. Uh, yeah, get a mission. Oh, hello. Assassinate Geneva Gyasi. Uh, 
Okay, well, I forgot why her picture is with this. Let's see. A note from Fiasco. This ship's been on my radar for as a lead on your target Vanderstar experiment. I don't care if you do this mission, but get on board and check out the terminal I've marked. It'll save my uh, people some work and I'll knock 40 uh, bucks off my fee. Uh, ah, yes. For the personal mission, you'll have to pay her. But you can do these missions to uh, get well, a lower price on it. You have guards with shotguns and bosses with heat sensors can detect you within sensor range without line of sight. We'll sound the alarm and then investigate. Uh, yeah, let's not do that. Instead, let's see what we have here. Okay, guards with guns and bosses, or guards with swords and bosses with guns. And does it say, ah, they're in this area here. Still the, yeah, all, all of these names are randomly generated, so there's no real need in reading them out. Let's see. Okay, emergency shield. When alerted, puts up a temporary shield that reflects all damage. Turns it off when they can't see an immediate threat. Yeah, we'll have to work around some of these obstacles as we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Explosive. Rigged with explosives that detonate if heat with lethal damage. Non-lethal attacks are safe. Shotguns. Shotgun. Hey, yeah. We'll need better gear for, <laughs> for harder missions like that. But for now, let's go on an assassination mission. Oh, dear. And yeah, well, this, this game is by the same people as Gunpoint because there's a lot of randomization in it. There's, um, uh, there can also be a lot less of a, uh, yeah, a guiding, <coughs> uh, the, what is the word that I'm thinking of? Guiding like, hand? Like some. This game also takes a lot longer, and since there isn't really too much of an over an overarching narrative without uh, with everything, this game can also go on for a very long time. Let's, uh, let's see. Okay, another quiet gun. No need to get that, and we can get the key. We can get the key card from here. Uh, yeah, this game can get very grindy if you play it for too long, and you can get another key card over here. And there's our assassination targets. Yeah, luckily these guys take a moment or two to actually notice you and sound the alarm. And uh, let's see, whatever remote, no. Um, what have? Oh, armor piercing short blade. Okay, lethal ignores armor, quick recovery, quiet strike, short range. Oh, that is very that that is an exceptional one. That is extremely lucky for us to find that right now. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's let's equip that. We're going to get the kill with that. That. <laughs> yeah, typically you have to inherit those from other characters, I think. But yeah, this thing has a much shorter range. Okay, captain is gone, so we can go on the alert now because they can't retreat anyways. Though I didn't actually look if there was a respon emergency response or not. Okay. One thing we do have to be careful though is uh, these enemies are equipped with swords, which are lethal weapons, and of course that counts against us as well. Restockable crash grenade launcher. We're getting a. We're getting really lucky with all of this stuff. Concernedly lucky. I'm getting worried. Hmm. Right. Let's deal with this guy. Let him come to us. And there we go. The moment that a target is in range with the short blade, you will kill them. There's no need to release. So, yeah, now that the save... I think that is the last one. That is the last one. Let's grab this. Long range crash beam. Okay. Uh, yeah, these these turn off electronics like shields and such. Crash grenades is well the same but in a grenade form. 
and now we can head off. And yeah, now it's just autopiloted back home to the nearest save point. And yeah. There can be quite a bit of downtime with this game as well, depending on how far away the ship has gone and so to speak. So again, this this is a this is a fun game, but it's not one you should play for like hours on end. Yeah. Okay, one more mission. Assassination on a foundry ship. Okay, that that last one was a was a, a sovereign ship. Each faction has their own little traits and such. Like the foundry, you know, the sovereign ones, they don't care about non-lethal. So they will kill you if you get, uh, if you, uh, yeah, if they can. Uh, the foundry, though, they have, they start off with non-lethal stuff as well, typically. But these guys, they come equipped with guns and the heat sensors. Let's see. Here we have another one for the foundry with ranches. Uh, though the, the main difference between lethal and non-lethal on you is uh, uh, oh yes, the, if you get shot then of course you'll start bleeding out and if you get caught as well they'll, bas they'll basically throw you out of the ship out of the airlock and if you're bleeding out then a timer will start counting down and that will not reset if you get caught again so basically if it starts at 10 seconds and you manage to save yourself with the ship at six, then the next time you are shot, uh, you only have six seconds to save yourself. And yeah, let's let's try and check out at least one of each faction. We've had the glitches at the first one. Sovereign just there, and now we're going after the foundry. <clears throat> uh, yeah, this game is more for like playing like 15 minutes or so every uh, other day or so. Yeah, it's not like how I've been handling this guy uh, six of late. Before I was able to play it a lot, but I feel like uh, only a little bit, uh, then a little break into something else is needed. So it is, can be quite a grand game. Okay, oh, so, did that guy hear that? Or yeah, no, he couldn't uh, have heard that. Okay. okay, anything just quiet guns. Uh, Basically, if anything is on the ground, then you can have it teleported to you. Let's get that. Uh, that over there is a fuel tank, I'm pretty sure. If you were to shoot that, it would blow out the end of the ship. Which is not too useful if we're nearby, of course. Yeah, and it, it looks a bit too dangerously close to your ship. Okay, clear this out. Grab that. And okay, the captain has a heat sensor, but we can strike from beyond that, so <laughs> that is useless to them. Ow. Okay, let's quickly take out this guy, hide his body, and that's our assassination target. Okay, again, we can knock out from outside and then. Then we can pick them up. And wait. Oh, I thought that it was <laughs> I thought that was a normal window, but it's it's sick as all hell. Is that a <laughs> Okay. Well you need a big window for ship. But yeah, we can also just have kill him like that. Just in case you've never brought if you just in case you haven't brought a lethal weapon with you. The game offers that option. That's good. Let's see, acid trap. Place the trap at your feet that strips armor off of enemies. And self-charging. Oh, no, oh, self-charging things are extremely useful. Because, of course, they're re self-recharging. With many of these items, you can... You know, they have limited charge, so after some time, they'll become useless. And let's grab whatever this is. Another acid trap, we can send it to the stash. And now we can just, well, head back again. 
Yeah, you, you can see how this game would probably be a lot of fun, but not the best for streaming. Because yeah. we'd have to wait quite a while between, like, you can already see how far away that is. Yep. Yeah. That would have to be cut out every time, or but that would be better off being cut from the game, from the recording. <clears throat> oh yeah, you, you, we could pick up all of these quiet guns, but they basically sell for nothing, I'm pretty sure. So there's no need to, because of course we can sell stuff to the market as well, which I might as well show off when we arrive here. Okay, mission complete. Da, da, da. Okay, here we have the stash, the pot shop, which is shop to restock in 10 minutes. Okay, standard breaching pods. Discounted long blade. Is this show? Oh, it's showing all of the shops at once. Okay. Uh, that might be new. I'm not sure actually. We're get it shop. Self charging three times. Uh, but with ugh, three charges. Crash trap. Armor piercing rounds. Preston standard rounds. Okay, for just for guns. Uh, there's not much need in buying ammunition because. Our quiet gun already has 72 ammo, and we can find plenty of ammo on ships themselves. A silenced quickfire shotgun. Okay. That would be useful, but we have no use for it at the moment. Hmm. And again, losing that would be an issue, but that would cost us everything we have at the moment. And yeah, you can see when we want to sell stuff back it like these guns they literally go for nothing because you can pick them up from everywhere we are we are certainly keeping that and that the crash grenade launcher okay disables any electronics in their blast radius quiet okay restocks for free when returning Let's keep that one as well. Be these crash beams, they work through walls. Whilst these crash grenades shouldn't. or Well, they, they should, but they won't have as much reach. And I'm keeping the acid trap as well. Hmm. Though this is a better version of that. But we haven't run into anything with armor yet. Okay, let's see if we can get one of these missions at the last faction over here. Yep. Then it's immediately the first one that we have. Another assassination, no alarm response, and only a few guards. Like, there's only three people on the ship. Okay, at least it's somewhat close by, so let's go get that. Like, th this game gets more fun the more equipment you have. Because, yeah, when you pause, think... Wait, the yeah. You can really just matrix a lot of gadgets after each other uh, with the pause option. And this is an absolutely tiny ship. I, I think what? this wouldn't even count for a fighter. Wait. Oh, hello. Doesn't it look like a fighter bomber? Here we go. And we're done already. Let's see. And there's no gear on this, though. That guy has something. Okay, let's go grab that. Yeah, that that looks humiliating almost that you kill the said target the instantly you get on board in what mere seconds wait what is... no not the wrench what is it extreme range visitor teleport just move you instantly but each type has unique limitations glitching breaks the universe sometimes the universe fixes itself we're not sure what happens the other times <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have these teleporter items as well. There's a, and as it says, there are a few of them. Visitors, well, it's uh, like it says, click anywhere within the radius to teleport there. You'll be pulled back to your original location two seconds later. And this thing has long range. So yeah, let's stash that. And a quiet concussive gun. Let's stash that as well. And, okay, it's over. 
It is, it's still lying there, but the moment that we get back, it'll be teleported out. Speaking of, let's head back then. Actually, let's stash another of these guns because we can lose our stuff. Or just throw it around at people. So, thoughts on this game? It is, it is interesting. I do like the humor, but... I don't know what to think of it at the moment. Yeah, it, it, there's a, it's a bit of choice paralysis. Like, there's so much stuff that you can do that you end up uh, yeah, taking forever to do anything at all. Yeah, and as well, I have a slight issue talking at the moment, but my mouth is still a bit dry. <laughs> so I instinctively try to be quiet by mistake. Let's try a, one hard mission at the least. Oh dear. None of these have a glitch back guarantee. Uh, oh, glitch dash. Teleports instantly to suspicious sounds or sights, e.g. you. And the bosses have heat sensors. Okay. But this would pay out a lot. Uh, it's another n fiasco note. Target flees. If the tar alarm is triggered, the target will head to the ship's telepad and escape if they reach it. And it still works. Autopilot. This pilot has no captain, so its alarm cannot be disabled, and it cannot be hijacked. Okay, I don't think I've ever run into that. Non-lethal weapon required. Okay, let's take that one. Uh, can we take... Uh, yeah, I'll accept it down here, like I've done the last times. Okay, let's check our shield then. Our, <clears throat> our stash then. We'll take the visitor and put that in place of the grenade launcher. We have nothing to deal with ammo, and I keep selecting it accidentally as our first item. So put that in there. Okay, this thing is only one use, so yeah. Once it's done, it's done. Equip that as our weapon there. Uh, the wrench is the wrench is useful, but it, as as you can see here, it takes 0.4 seconds to recharge for an attack. The sword blade can go instantly. So if we base basically if we get to a cluster of enemies, we can just cut them down instantly. <laughs> uh, and yeah, let's go with this. See if we can. Uh, get this done. It's gonna be a bloodbath, ain't it? Probably. And of course, the harder the mission, the bigger the ship as well. Oh, okay, they're right on our doorstep, basically. Okay, slow down. Yep. Get in there. Oh yeah, they're going to be clustered up as well. Let's see. Is any of them going to come this way? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, and good night. <laughs> and that is how you can dismantle a group like that. Now, let's see. Did I even drop anything useful? No, only just normal guns. Is any of these going to break away? Actually, I think it's in the AI that when they group together like this, they'll eventually just break away anyways. Let's grab the body, hide that, because that guy got a glimpse of us, but not enough to raise the alarm. And there we go. Yeah, the, the range is really useful as a weapon, because... Yeah, it just has that charging rate. And here we have that intel on the personal mission. And enemies can see for quite a distance in this game, so you'll want to <laughs> have something block line of sight at near all times like that. 
<laughs> right. Okay, I... That was just perfect timing. And here comes another sucker. And go. It's... Oh, there's our capture target. Um, and they're coming right over here. Okay. Hello. And let's see. There's some gear that we can still steal here. What is this? Another rechargeable slipstream. Okay, stash that. So we have a better thing. I. So we can at least sell that. Don't you have escaping again with your target? Yeah, but there's still stuff that we can steal. Hmm. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Away with you. And I'm just going to grab whatever's in there and then we can just bail out. out of our range with this one but I can show off the visitor at least then and no nope, other branch and then this one as the secondary and back it, it has that ghost to show you when you will be going back okay <laughs> and that's, that's a crash beam Um, let's see. Long range crash beam. Well, we have two of these now, so. Poof. There we go. No more heat sensor. It can also be used against uh, static defenses like turrets and such, which well, we haven't run into yet. Uh, those will start showing up eventually. And here we go. And we're not too far away. Uh, if you're if you spend too long in a ship that outward bound, then uh, you could end up on like the complete opposite side of the map. Oh. And yeah, we got a good pay from that. I think I think we're, I think the currency in this game is actually like acid because this base Seder here said that this is basically a nebula that's made out of acid for. And people want that for, well, batteries, of course. Ah, so that's why they are fighting for it. Yeah. Silenced gun. Oh, <laughs> overpriced acid trap. Yeah, that's also a, a modifier that they just ask way too much for that. But, yeah, that's Heat Signature. Again, it, it's a fun game, but one you should, spare, uh, you should uh, do in a small sessions and I think some of these characters can even have their own yet yeah, their traits let's see weak you're not strong enough to use melee weapons okay glory plus 15 percent I don't know what glory is actually here we have informed you already have the intel you need for your personal mission okay Technophobe, you don't know how to recharge or self-charge gadgets, and at this point you're too embarrassed to ask. Also <laughs> informed. And yeah, then the one we have here. Glory level one. I I have no idea what glory is. But yeah. Tip. When you save yourself from bleeding to death, you're not fully healed. Yeah. Uh, You'll have a few seconds less to save yourself next time. Uh, basically what I said earlier. <clears throat> okay. But yeah, that'll do for uh, something Sunday, I'd say. Like, and yeah, chat's been inactive. So yeah, thank you as always yeah, for helping along, Vakir. Oh, you're most welcome. Uh, actually, who is this here? Lima Vine? Is this... 
as easy Sunday, a special character and set of missions only available today. New okay, so a daily challenge. All right. Uh, yeah, this has been something Sunday. And uh, yeah, anyone who's been watching now, later on YouTube, thank you. And well, Tuesday we'll be continuing Ors Must Die 2. And after that, Armed and Dangerous. But as always, until then, until then. Be safe, folks.